Hey everybody, it's Greg. I wanted to make this video real quick and just show you how to use the Keepa Track product feature. Um, if you're not taking advantage of this, you are missing out. I mentioned in a post in the Essential Daily Deals group that I've got three alerts this week um, telling me that Amazon was in stock on a product. They sell it for $20. I sell it for between $65 and $69.99. Um, I have gone higher, I have gone lower, but that seems to be where I always wind up going back to is that price point. Um, they had four of them in stock on Tuesday, three on Wednesday, two today, and I bought them all. So those nine products I make $30 net net. Um, so there's a $270 profit in my pocket when they sell and when I have them in stock. Uh, to sell nine, I'll sell nine in, in two weeks, maybe a little sooner, maybe a little longer, probably two weeks on average. Um, so anyway, let me show you how to track. This is not the product. I just wanted to pull up a Keepa graph and let you see the features. So I grabbed this garlic press. First thing I want to show you is right here, community tracking. There are 44 users tracking this product. All right, that's going to determine how likely you are going to be the one to buy it if the tracked price uh, actually comes into play. If you are trying to track this product, it shows that the average uh, Amazon price people are looking for is 2473. The average new is 2071. Um, you know, if all of a sudden Amazon comes in at 2250 then you know that 24 uh, people are going to get that message. It says 24 desired prices. So out of the 44 people, it looks like 24 are looking for Amazon to be the seller, and they're looking for an average of that price. Now, some people won't get the message, right? Some people may only want to know about it when it gets down to 20 bucks. So if it goes to 22.50, then they won't get the message and that can be a determining factor in how you uh, set your price alerts right so my price alert for the product that I'm looking for is considerably higher than other people um, or at least most other people I, I don't know about all of them but um, you know I have it set to $29.99 for the price that I want keep it to notify me when Amazon gets to that price other people are nine bucks and eight bucks and twenty bucks and they're all over the place. Well, if Amazon comes in at twenty dollars and one cent, anybody that is set at twenty dollars won't get the message. So I'm pricing myself higher for the Keepa alert, hoping that if Amazon decides to bump up a little bit, I'll still get the message and maybe they won't. So that's just some of the strategy. But you can see how many people are tracking it, and that's a good place to start in, in setting your strategy. If you go up here to this button, it says track product. Um, I have my data turned on because I am a subscriber to Keepa, so you'll see some things here that you won't see if you're not a paying member, but you can see this. If you're using the free version of Keepa, you'll get access to this, and that's really all you need. Um, like I said, this is some sort of a garlic press. This is not the product that I buy, but you would in this example go in and set the price that you want uh, them to notify you when it gets to that price you would tell Keepa how long you want to track this product and then you would say start tracking okay uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click that Your email name up here you can change that that's who my Keepa account is registered to but I can change to where they send me the email doesn't have to go to your registered name. Uh, I have it being sent to Facebook Messenger. You can send it to any of the messenger services that use Telegram. Uh, you can push it on your desktop if you want a desktop notification. You can even get an RSS feed. If anything changes on that page, you can get a feed on it. Um, you can get notified if there's a lightning deal. Actually, some of these notifications might be for data only. I think lightning deal works whether you have data or not. Um, data, I mean a paid keep a subscription. And this is a 
an important one is rearming the timer. Let me just pull this up a little bit so you can see it. And this by default is set, I think, for 10 days or 7 days, one of the two. And you definitely want to change that if it's something that you think may come into stock more frequently than once a week or once every 10 days. Um, I set it for one. That's as low as you can go. It used to be a little trick. You could you could put 0 0.2, and it would notify you, you know, every few hours if it was coming back in stock. But they disarmed that uh, feature, so now the lowest level is one day. So, and this is why I've been getting multiple messages from Kipos because I have it set to one day on my other product, and every day I'm getting a message that Amazon's back in stock. Now, they've been out of stock for a while, but this week, three days in a row, they've gotten it. And that seems to be the pattern. They'll get it for a few days, and then they won't have it for a month. And they'll get it for a few days, then they won't have it for a month. And I jump in and buy it during that time that they are in stock. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if you set this for one day, all of the products that you're tracking will change to one day. I think that's how this works. Um, and I haven't played around with that because all of mine are set for one day. But you have to check that and see. So and as simple as that, if the product comes into stock at or below the price that you are tracking, you will get an email, a Facebook messenger, a Telegram messenger, uh, a push on your desktop. Whatever it is that you've set up, you will get. And that's how you use the Keep a Tracking feature to stay on top of when the product is restocked. And that's great if you know that a seller's been undercutting um, and you need to know when to drop your price outside of when your repricer is doing it. You can have a keep a notification set up to let you know when that seller comes in at that price, um, right? Because you just set it up for third-party seller. You set the price that you know they're always coming in at. And when they come in at that price, either you just turn yours off or you adjust your price or whatever, or you buy their product. I don't know. There's, you don't have to just use this for Amazon to Amazon flips. Um, this can notify you of a lot of different things. Play around with it and see what all you can figure out. But I hope that helps. I just wanted to point out the Amazon to Amazon flip feature that's made me several hundred dollars over the last couple of days just getting notifications. Um, this is a guarantee for me because I get this every month. So good luck to you. If you have any questions, reach out to me, Greg, at SellerEssentials.com. Have a good day.